Welcome back to Two Day Pass, and today we're going to go over number nine of the 10 most popular, no most common reasons why people fail their driving tests. So, this is the stats from 2018 to 2019, when they change into 2020. Guess what? I'll be making another video. Well, <laughs> anyways, number nine response to signs, road markings. Now, this can fall into so many different areas. So, as I'm driving along, I'm going to see if I can pick up on any. Now, now on this test route, because I'm doing all the examples of all of these 10 most common reasons for failing, I will highlight where people will get misled and possibly fail for, you guessed it, response to signs, road markings. So the most common one would be not seeing giveaway lines. So a lot of people will be on a long straight road and then there's a giveaway line on this road. So not like this example here in this crossroads, the giveaway lines are on either side. But if I had giveaway lines in front of me, then I would have to give way. Sometimes people don't notice these road markings and then they don't give way and then they fail for response to signs, road markings. Guys, another reason, maybe you haven't seen a stop line and you don't come to a complete stop. That's, that's a good reason. Uh, there's other ones like roundabouts as an example. That is a road marking. So if you go over the actual white circle with all four wheels of the vehicle, or if you go counterclockwise around the roundabout, you're gonna fail for response to signs, road markings. There's many other reasons. Uh, one is a bus lane as an example. So if you don't see the bus lane sign and you do or don't use the bus lane according to the sign, you could fail for response to signs, road markings. Maybe you've gone over the bus lane and therefore you've gone over a road marking into the bus lane when you're not supposed to. So this can be classed as a serious fault and that would be an immediate fail. All right guys, here I am at the crossroads which is very close to the test center. And I'd say about 80% of all tests from Greenford Driving Test Center will come to these crossroads. And you might laugh on your driving test if you've watched this video and you come to this junction because your examiner is most likely gonna ask you this question. So, whatever your name is, what would you normally be doing today? And there's two ways you can answer this. Very short and sweet, if you don't wanna have a nice long chat, or you could get very talkative. Now, the only reason why the examiners are asking you this question is it's a very generic question that they've been told to ask. It will not offend anybody, and it breaks the silence. Sometimes this silence puts people in a more sort of anxiety state so if there's this little chit chat that can relax most people so two ways of answering it the choice is yours if you found my ramble and rant about road markings informative you guessed it smash that like button and why not go and check out number eight of the 10 most common reasons for failing your driving test see you there